morning. I'm going to the studio today and we're going to write a new song and hopefully record some of it as well. So I thought it would be interesting to document how much energy we use in one day of writing a song and recording at least part of a song. So this is one day at the studio and this is my energy use. First of all, I got in my petrol car and drove to my producer's studio. I wanted to work out my energy usage because when I make music, there can be a lot of travel involved to studio sessions and there's a lot of electrical items involved during the creative process. I want to be aware of my energy usage so that I can offset my carbon footprint and make sure that my creative process is energy efficient without being creatively limited. I've just arrived. It's like a 20 mile round trip ish from my house to Ben's studio, but I'll work it out and be exact so I can give you the kind of energy use breakdown at the end of this video. The first thing I did when I got there was go into the studio, we turned the lights on, I set my camera up and we started playing with some fun noises. <laughs> We had a few keyboards on the whole time so that we could just quickly flip between keyboards and Ben could come up with ideas. I noticed that the air conditioner was on, speakers, a recording light, just for fun. Most things run through that power conditioner, like everything runs through that first before it goes anywhere. The amp stays off because it uses like electricity. I know there's a lot of lights but and flashing stuff, but there's not actually that much stuff. The stuff that uses loads of electricity is these three things because they've all got valves in and they get really hot. Coffee, coffee machine. Acoustic piano didn't use any energy but the lights were on. We use a Neumann U87 to track vocals and that is powered by 48 volts phantom power. This is coming up with vocal melody ideas and lyrical ideas for the song. You seem like the type of person I've been looking to find. Working out some synth ideas. All this time. Fuck. All this time. Soup. I had a cup of soup that I warmed in the microwave. I included this in the energy usage because lunch is part of a studio day. Sometimes I do spend a bit of time on my phone in the studio. That's gone into the energy usage too. A lot of times there's kind of like synth chord ideas or guitar chord ideas that I, I put on a loop and just played back through the speakers and then I come up with a vocal, a top line, lyrics, a melody on top of that main chord progression. But we can be playing that loop over and over again for quite a long time in order to get the lyrics spot on because it needs to be repeated, it needs to be in your head, you need to be able to sing along with it so that you can really form the song. I saw you, excuse me, beg your pardon. Could you use someone? Ben's got a dog. He's called Lester. <laughs> He's really posing for the camera, isn't he? Okay. Well done. Yeah, nice. That's the shot I wanted. I'm <laughs> smiling. More coffee. Yeah. Fatness. Tell me. Uh, it's gone through there into What's gone? the Moog and yeah. it's gone into this LA610 and I've just cranked it really hard. So it's Which just, is what? A compressor? Uh, so it's a channel strip, yes, yeah, it's got a compressor at the end of it. I've just hit it really hard on the preamp um, so it's kind of like crunching up quite a lot. And then it's gone into this Neve strip with all the tape emulation on like full so it's crunching again and then I've just put the EQ on loads at like 30 hertz so it sounds like. I don't know if you're going to pick it up on the camera, but it's, it sounds like this. Fat. Fat. Yeah. It's just kind of nice. It means I don't really have to do that much of it once it's in the computer, because all the filters are done live. It's like, it's more or less in the right place. It's just a case of kind of keeping it out of the way of some other stuff, but there's no like soundscaping I really need to do on the computer, which is kind of nice. Um, yeah. Efficient workflow. Got loads nice. of boring stories like that. I like it. Yeah, cool. Ben's super efficient in his workflow now because he's been doing music production for such a long time. He's really skilled. Everything's a lot quicker in terms of creating a song than it used to be when we first started working together like eight years ago. And that's just down to experience. And that means that we can, for want of a better word, churn out a song in a much shorter period of time. So theoretically, a songwriting session for us could be a few hours. 
or it could be a full day like today. I would describe myself as tired as hell. <laughs> Had a great day in the studio. We wrote a song. We recorded most of it, like 90% of it. And Ben's going to do some extra production work on a different day. But now I'm going home. Goodbye. Okay, so that was me, a typical day at the studio. Throughout the day, we used two standard light bulbs, one Wi-Fi router, one air conditioning machine, a Samsung monitor, two MacBooks, I used my MacBook laptop as well, a UAD Apollo X6 audio interface, two Neve Shelford channel strips, a UAD LA610 strip, a Furman PL Plus power conditioner, a Roland FP4 keyboard, a Moog Sub 37 synthesizer, Prophet 6 keyboard, Neumann UAD7 microphone with phantom power, two extinct audio BM9 microphones, two focal twin speakers, two iPhones, one Canon camera, and partially two batteries, which powers the microphone that I have attached to this camera. And here's how much carbon that equates to. Okay, I haven't seen this before. Ecology kindly helped me to calculate my energy usage for this studio day. So I provided a list of what we used in the studio, how long we used it for, and we included everything from studio light bulbs to synths to the journey in the car in order to calculate a really accurate usage. Your overall emissions should be 4.4 kilograms of CO2 emissions. I feel like that's a lot. It looks like over half of the emissions were from the car journey to and from the studio. It just makes me think a lot about, you know, previous years, previous years of, of writing songs and recording music and, and all of that energy usage that um, I haven't offset yet. I feel like there's almost um, a debt that I want to repay through planting these trees with ecology. I want to repay that debt and then some, you know. Ecology is a company founded by a group of environmentalists in 2019. It allows regular people to take action against the climate crisis and offset their carbon footprint. Each month, ecology members support two climate projects, buying and retiring carbon credits from those projects to offset their carbon footprint. In addition to this, Ecology members fund tree planting and every member has their very own online personal forest representing all of the trees that they funded. Eventually, substantial amounts of carbon from the atmosphere will be absorbed and stored in the trees for many years to come and this helps to limit the global temperature change. Trees are awesome. Not only are they beautiful, they do a lot of good things for the planet. Trees are an amazing natural solution that can play a big role in limiting climate change. Ecology was my go-to because it gamifies the process of supporting climate positive projects and planting trees. I can see all of my trees in my forest online, which is called Trigwell's Trees, and I can keep track of how many tons of carbon I've offset. It's a great feeling to know that my forest grows each month and I'm doing something good for our planet. I'm hoping by the end of this year, I can get to over a thousand trees in the Trigwell's tree forest. And if you wanna help me do that, then click the link below and it'll take you to Patreon and it explains more about how we plant trees together. Making music and having music out there is something that makes me feel really good. I also, as a listener, really enjoy listening to great music. It's not that I think that studio days should be cut short or limited creatively, but if creators like me and musicians like me can think about offsetting the carbon footprint during studio days like that, I think it's really important and really worthwhile and a great thing to, to do alongside being creative. If you'd like to support me on my journey to becoming a climate positive musician, hit the link below, which is gonna take you to Patreon and you can contribute trees to my Trigwell's Trees Forest, which is growing rapidly and you will also be getting monthly updates about my career, behind the scenes stuff, and new music and new original song demos, which are only available on Patreon. So head to the link below and I will see you really soon.